What's going on everybody? Today's gonna be a little bit of a sad update to my tank here. So, uh, about two weeks ago, I, um, I cleaned my MP40 there. You know, I took it out like you're normally supposed to do, rinse it out, uh, use a toothbrush to clean it, clean the anemone guard there, and I put it back on the tank, and then once I had it, you know, in the pulse mode again, I noticed that the waves, you know, they were much bigger than what they currently are right now. And I was like, oh man, you know, that's great. We've got, you know, a lot more flow and in the tank, and now the LPS will sway back and forth more. The uh, SPS will probably get a little bit more food. Um, and I just assumed everything was good. One thing I didn't necessarily consider was my livestock in here, the, the fish. Um, so basically what happened was the next morning after cleaning the power head, I saw my file fish just stuck up against the side of the, the uh, an enemy guard there. And I just instantly assumed that he was dead. He wasn't. He was still somewhat alive, but when I turned the the um, MP40 off, he kind of swam off like he was normal, and you know, I was like, okay, good. You know, he wasn't up there long. Um, but it turned out, you know, I don't know how long he was up there because it could be, you know, 12 hours or so. I don't, I don't even know exactly. I'm just assuming it was roughly 12 hours before or after I cleaned the guard until. I actually saw him the next morning. Uh, but anyways, he just swam off, just kind of like normal. Then he started heading towards the bottom of the substrate here. He was swimming a little funky. He was going slow, he was kind of, he was jetting and then just stopping and kind of gliding. And so I, I gave him probably a couple hours to, you know, hopefully regain his balance uh, and all that good stuff but he never fully regained you know to a hundred percent and after a couple hours the clownfish here they were going up to him checking him out uh, pecking at him a little bit and the foul fish he didn't even react to it he you know I already knew at that point that it was pretty much game over and I wasn't gonna let the um, the blue leg hermit crabs that I have in here, or the clownfish just nip at them alive. Um, so what I did, and if you don't want to hear this part, go ahead and skip forward. So I basically just took them out, got the net, threw them down to garbage disposal, turned it on. It's the quickest way that, you know, I felt was the best way to, you know, go ahead and take care of them. Really sucks because I, I really like that fish. Um, it was the first foul fish that I've ever had. And uh, he definitely kept this tank clean of Aptasia and I'm sure some other pests. And he didn't touch any corals. That, that I was aware of. Well, I'll take that back. So, I could never keep acans in this tank. Um, and I just kind of attributed it to either one, my tank wasn't really up to spec for acans or, or lords whatever you want to call them um trying to see there's one by my little logo down there it's in a bad spot um but i really couldn't keep them fluffy i can keep them for i don't know maybe a week or so and then they would just stay retracted and now that the file fish is gone the the acan is just fluffy and happy as can be and the feeders are out um, so I guess he did have a little taste for uh, lords, but even if he was the one actually eating them, you know that I was okay with that. I, I just I just came to the the point where I was like, you know, hey, I just won't have any lords in here. That's fine with me. Even though I really like them, I was like, you know what? It's the benefit outweighs, you know, just being able to have one specific coral in here. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since he's been gone, and I already see three Aptasia in this tank. There's one big one. 
um, in the back. I really can't get the camera back there. Uh, yeah, maybe I can. Um, but real quick, I don't know if you can see them in there, but in between the Zoas, uh, those uh, stargazers and the red looking ones, whatever those are, right in the middle where the black little area is, the dark area, there's two there. And let me roll around here. And let's see if you can see it. Yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to pick up. But anyways, there's one there. Um, I've got a bob. Uh, like an inappropriate reefer has a, or used to have that big Aptasia in his tank. <laughs> but I, I, I don't like bob, so bob's about to get some... Uh, Either Aptasia X or uh, F Aptasia from from Frank's tanks, because um, I don't like Aptasia. I I can't stand them. I need to take care of them now while there are not many of them in there, you know that I see. But yeah, I uh, lost a fish. Um, you know it really sucks when you lose a fish. I mean I I, I really take it to heart. I I can count on. Uh, let's see. Let me think here. Yeah, I can definitely count on one hand how many fish I've lost in the four years since I've been in the hobby. I lost, now I lost a file fish and um, a yellow eye coltang. So, and the yellow eye coltang actually perished while he was in QT. So, and I don't even know exactly what happened on that deal. I really don't. I, I just assumed he had something that that I couldn't see or he had some some kind of existing issues that I didn't know of and you know he just died while he was in my care um but on some better news the tank is just doing great um, everything's growing everything's very lush and happy everything's open um, I was having a little issue with uh, these scrambled eggs, zoanthids, and I'm just going to call them armor god because I'm not even sure what they really are. There's so many different morphs. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's so many different morphs of these, you know, right in the middle of your screen. I don't even know what they are. But anyways, I had some bubble algae in between these two, you know, uh, zoas and you know, I cleaned that area out and now I'm starting to notice a couple of little bubble algae uh, you can see where that anemone is to the right hand side of it that little crevice area um, where some of the rocks meet there's some there's a big bubble algae right there there's a few more just spread out throughout the the whole tank and I'm probably saying maybe five or six decent sized bubbles which I've been working on going in there picking everything out and getting rid of it that way but I may actually just start to use um, vibrant just to get rid of it and also add a couple of emerald emerald crabs to, to see if they'll help with the issue because I really don't want that to start taking foot also I've noticed those little those pain in the ass little starfish uh, I've seen one or two on the glass and I hate those things just as much as I hate Aptasia. I, I just can't stand those things. Even though I've had them in pretty much every single one of my tanks, and they don't necessarily do any harm that I've seen, but I just can't stand them. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, let me see if I can get my hand out of the shot here. My SPS, it's starting to actually encrust the plugs there let me see if I can turn the white balance down there you go so this one up front this green one uh, is an orange passion I got from North Texas coral in the back there is a slimer coral uh, right in the center in front of that Monty is also another slimer and then the bigger or, yeah, I guess the bigger colony there, or a mini frag colony, is a um, uh, candlelight acropora. And then in the back, it's just a your standard green bird's nest. Um, everything is starting to encrust, which 
really cool to me. It's They've been in here, I want to say, probably two months now. And on this orange passion, I've got a couple of little nubs starting to grow out from the base where it's encrusting. So pretty soon, this sucker's going to start growing up and just uh, branching out. And that's just really stoked about that. Same thing with that Slimer. It doesn't have any little nubs yet, but you can see it's starting to uh, cover up the base there. And there's another uh, bubble algae on the back of the disc there on that Slimer. The Montes, let me go on this side here. My Montes are starting to uh, do that curling up thing that they do. You can probably see since uh, one of my last updates that it was just a flat piece and now they're starting to curl up everywhere. Which is pretty cool. If they start to curl up, that's cool. Um, but if they start to grow out a little more, I'm probably just going to have to keep chopping them. Because this rock is not that big. I really want to keep this rock just for uh, sticks mainly. But I just can't get rid of this, this Monty. I love this little Monty. Or I should say this big Monty. <laughs> My frag rack is in desperate need of some more fragging. Everything's starting to actually grow on the the rack itself. You can see where those Gatorades are and there's some promethazine mixed in there. Half of that is actually on the rack, so I just need to get off my ass and stop being lazy and start fragging some corals there. But that's just another topic for another day. Bragging. You know, I've noticed some of these zoas, they're just, they're growing like crazy. I mean, like these rainbow infusions, I already fragged those two or three times now. And then, you know, at the same time, I frag pretty much every single zoa that's up here. And then this, um, I think it's a blood agave. I think it's still got one or two polyps, you know, the original frag. So, so I don't know, some of them, they're just slow growers I don't know what it is maybe it could be the location that they're in but it's what it is uh, this anemone here I bought it I don't know probably four or five months ago and it actually split and this guy is just not happy I mean I don't know what his deal is he just stays there and he may move you know a centimeter one way or the other way but I don't know maybe the hammer above him is just keeping him in check and just not letting them uh, be happy but this guy always stays here he's happy and the green one he looks like shit right now but he is he's happy he uh, he typically opens up about four o'clock when the lights come on he's still doing his thing opening up and he'll be fully open here uh, here shortly uh, you may have noticed my singularia um, it actually started to just stand up on itself or on its own. It was I had that rubber band that was on the, the plug there um, I had it lay down and held down by that rubber band so It started to stand up. So that's good news. So it should be starting to grow pretty soon You know I always try to get this in the shop, but I can never get this I want to show you guys I got this mushroom I guess that's probably about as good as it's gonna get. Um, I got this mushroom two or three years ago from Murfreesboro Aquatics or uh, Burrow Aquatics. And it was about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch. I bought it for, uh, I think 250 bucks plus shipping. And this thing is absolutely massive. I mean, this this video does not do it justice. This, this thing is, it's gotta be five to almost six inches just across. and. It is insane. But other than that, everything's doing great. Parameters are stable. Everything is, is doing well and growing quick. And Oh yeah, let me uh, show you these guys real quick. My original fish that I got. They're happy. They're doing good. Still no breeding yet, so we'll wait. We'll see. But yeah, guys, that's uh, the update for now. Sorry, it's not necessarily a, uh, a good update, but I uh, also want to remind you guys that anytime you clean your power heads, when you put, you know, 
put the power head back in the tank and maybe have an enemy put your enemy guard on there just make sure to to lower the intensity or lower the waves or lower whatever you got to do so you know give it a week or so and slowly ramp it up so that way you know something doesn't happen like what happened to me is you know a fish get caught in it or who knows what else gets caught in it um because it's definitely a terrible feeling and uh I don't want you guys to have to go through that. So I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and tap the little bell icon and hit all. That way you get notified anytime I upload a video. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.